In Creo 7.0, Creo Simulation Live provides the ability to create a fluid domain for parts or assemblies. For this first example, we will create a fluid domain for an internal flow simulation. You always have the option to select a body, volume, or part that you created manually to use for a fluid domain. After you select the bounding surfaces, the fluid domain is created for you and then placed in the model tree. A feature is created in the part model tree to reflect this internal volume feature. Next, let's create a fluid domain for an external flow simulation. After selecting enclosure volume, the model is enclosed inside a fluid domain. The next step is to select the handles on the enclosure. You can drag the handles to desired distance or enter a value for the offset value. After selecting OK, transparency is automatically assigned to the fluid domain for an external flow. The fluid domain creation tools are there to help you easily and quickly get started with, with CFD and are associated to the model for making changes during your design exploration.